but you got to realize people switch up on you and they will do it in college but do not let that distract you from your goal people gonna leave you but a hundred dollar bill gonna stay the same you know what I'm saying? When I was broke, they were intimidated. Nope. Ran up some paper, they started hating. Chisel told me just keep going. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are back. I'm back, you're back. If you hear that noise, it's raining outside, like typhoon raining, like raining hard, hard, hard. But this video is a video that you guys have been requesting since I want to say June or whatever y'all have been wanting me to give advice on going back to school since some of you guys start school next week or maybe when this is uploaded because it's supposed to be uploaded on monday so i hope you guys well i hope this advice helps you guys i'm gonna try to do it like freshman sophomore junior and senior in high school and then freshman sophomore junior in college because i'm i'm i'm, 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 I'm I'm upcoming. <clears throat> I am coming up to my senior year in college. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like now that I look back, I was just like graduating high school, like in the end, graduating from homes, which was almost two years ago, 2017. So for me to be graduating in DC in May, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with me? But I graduate in May, guys. May of 2019. I will be done with my undergrad. Undergrad. Ow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this video, like I said, will be separated into freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. I'm going to do freshmen together, freshmen in high school, and freshmen and senior. Because I look at it as kind of being the same way high school is, but it's not the same way. Like, college is way, 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 way more advanced. But you kind of, freshman, you still start a new school. Sophomore year, your second year at the school. Junior, third year at the school. And senior, you still finna finish. So it's kind of like high school, like 10% like high school. The other part is like you're adulting so it's kind of well i know kind of it is different like way way different but i hope this advice helps you guys and if i left anything out or people who watch me that are older than me or the same age as me or even if you're a freshman sophomore junior or senior and y'all left out some advice y'all drop it down below so they can know Freshman year in college and high school are kind of alike, so you kind of, you'll kind of be doing the same stuff. So freshman year, tip number one, do not set a name for yourself. Like once you start high school, however you are in high school kind of follows you. Like it might not be true later on in life, but how you started high school is how people going to look at you forever. It's the year your GPA starts and everything. So the, th the stuff you do your first year is critical. Like in the years after that, keep getting, keep getting tougher and tougher and tougher. But your GPA start, so you start like, I don't know how GPA like starts, but I know it's better for you to get A's and B's in like, well A's mostly in your classes because that make your GPA higher. You got higher GPA, you get more scholarships, you get open to more, be able to do more things, kind of. But with me, personally, I was BSing my freshman and sophomore year. I like I liked school, but I was going through something at the time, so I really want to like, focus on my school. Because some people would be like, see, get degrees, and that was my motto. But once I got to realize, like, dog, them C's, like, drop my GPA, like, low, 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 low. So, if I think if I would have took school or took my classes more seriously, I wouldn't have had the problem, you know, of bringing my GPA back up. But my GPA is not low now. Like, I'm happy with my GPA now because what I had at first. Mm. Mm. But now, I'm happy about it. You know, I it took me a while to bring it back to life because at first it was kind of dead. You know what I'm saying? But, um, 
yeah that's the year everything in college your gpa starts ninth grade your gpa starts just do not mess that up like straight a's try to it, you can get a's get a's you can get b's get b's do not get d's or else c's if that's what you can get get it but if you know you if you know for a fact you can push yourself to go higher than the c do it because you'll appreciate it later on tip number two well i think tip number one was the gpa I don't know, but tip number one was the GPA. Tip number two is the do not make a name for yourself. Like, do not make a name for yourself, y'all. Because if you go out here acting like something, people going to portray you as something. They're going to remember you on in the hallway, you on the plaza, or you on campus doing this activity. They're going to forever see you like doing this activity they're gonna say oh that was the that was homegirl in the plaza that was doing this so and so and so oh that was homegirl in the hallway with such and such it's gonna carry you forever even though you might grow up and outgrow those things you were doing it's still gonna follow you and you do not want that at all so if you're gonna do something do it in private don't let everybody see you doing what you're doing because you're gonna regret it trust me number three this is mainly for college freshmen you do not have to go to every party <laughs> you do not have to go to every party honestly the parties that are in mississippi well in jackson i go to jackson state as y'all know the parties in jackson are all the same so if you miss one party the next party gonna be just the exact same just somebody else is hosting it honestly Every party is the same. Everybody be breaking their back, dancing, doing them goods. They do lit. They do, like, it's just the same party every time. Do not put a party above your grades because you will regret that also. Because I'm just letting you know you're going to regret it. So every party is the same. It's okay to go to some, like, especially freshman if it's home, freshman in college. This is specific for y'all. Like, if it's homecoming week. Do your work the week before. Do your work the week before. So, you know, you ain't got to worry about, oh, well, I'm going to go to this party, but I got a paper due at 12 o'clock. And then you realize you got a paper due at 11 at 9. Why are you in the park shaking your butt? Ain't going to matter because you're not going to make it on time. What's more important, a party or your grades? Grades should always win. Simple. Hey, okay, tip number three. Freshman. Be cordial with your professors. Like, oh, be cordial with your professors. Like, be nice to them. Don't be rude. Because honestly, teachers talk. So, teachers are petty. Teachers are just like students. But you want to believe it or not, teachers will talk to each other and say, oh, so and so is in my class and they acted a fool. So, you just be prepared. But now another teacher already got a perspective of who you are. And honestly, that's how you act your freshman year. That's not who you are anymore. So just act the way you're supposed to act. I know some of y'all coming from home. You ain't had that much freedom in high school. So you think just because just cause you get away from your parents, you don't have to act accordingly. Whether you want to believe it or not, you your mom, your parents know somebody that's teaching at your school. Unless you're out of state. If you're out of state or out of this town or something but i'm pretty sure everybody who goes to school with me knows that their parents know somebody that works at jackson state so what's the point of you acting a fool in class when the, well what's the point of you disrespecting a person who's giving you grades like go in class have what you're supposed to have study what you're supposed to study don't say nothing like i don't understand people be getting kicked out of classes how they just keep getting in trouble in school. It's not hard, bro. All you gotta do is go in the classroom, answer the questions, pay attention. But I guess it's just, that's just how I was. And freshmen um, in high school too, like, freshmen, this is for freshmen in high school now. Um, get involved in like clubs and stuff. Like, you know, get, this is freshmen in college too. Get involved in clubs, get to know more people, you know, be open, be social, be, out there just don't be you know too reserved because honestly the people that you know can connect you with somebody else and 
by, the, by your senior year come, you got everything you need to know. Like everything about your may, maybe your major or everything about high school that you need to know. Like the person, people that you connect with could probably get you a connect to a college or get you a connect to a scholarship or something. So you never know. Just be more social. You might be shy, but still join some clubs. They have so many clubs like in college and in high school. I know in high school they have French clubs, Spanish clubs, beta clubs. Like they have so many clubs. So just take advantage of them, join them. They look good on the resumes, do it. Enjoy your freshman year, cause it will go by fast. Like you will look up and you say, oh, I'm graduating high school. And then you're going into freshman year and you be like, dang, I'm gonna be a sophomore already. Like it goes by that fast, bro. It goes by that freaking fast. It does, cause I miss my freshman year. I wish I would've enjoyed it more. But I was playing ball, so I really, like, I like my teammates, and I like where I was and stuff, but, but, hey, I took advantage of it because I was just, you know, going with the motions. I really wasn't caring that much like I should have been, but whatever. We are on sophomores. This is your second year in college, I mean, second year in college, second year in high school, so you're not really a freshman no more. You're kind of familiar with the campus, familiar with the hallways, and me with people, you know, you got you, you certain friends you hang out with, and yada yada yada, you know what I'm saying? But freshman year I means sophomore year, sorry. Sophomore year is kind of like a, for me, it was a laid back year. Like, I was just like, it's like in the middle, because you're not young, you're not just old, so you're kind of like in the middle. So, junior year is like when you're taking yeah, simple classes, you know. In college, you're taking classes that are leading up to your major or whatever. And then sophomore in high school, you just kind of like, you know, chilling, taking simple classes. It's not really that hard. To me, it wasn't. But you're starting to get, like, prepared for, like, some people take the state test in 11th grade. It just depends on, you know, you're getting ready to move on up or whatever. You might be trying out for sports. You might be doing this. You might be doing that. Join clubs. Like, you just... Sophomore years, like, to me, was a laid-back year. Like, we didn't do much, you know. Just a, a chill freaking year. Like, I don't really have much to say on it because it was simple in high school. But in college, if you go into, like, a junior college or something, this is the year that you graduate. So, you're like, oh, man, I graduate. Nah, 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 nah. So, honestly, your freshman year is the hardest. Sophomore year is kind of the most simple because you really don't. It don't do much. You just chill and just keep your grades up, like simple. I don't really had any tips for sophomore year, cause it's a chill year, like both sophomore year in college and sophomore year in high school. Pretty much chill. You know what I'm saying? For junior year, junior year is hectic. Like at the beginning of it, you just kind of like at the beginning of junior year, you kind of just. It's kind of starting to set in that you might be leaving, you know, the next year or whatever. You're kind of like, oh, man, wow, you're looking up and you're realizing, oh, I'm not a freshman no more. Like, I'm going to leave. Most people get cars this time. So, you know, you really become more social and outgoing. And, well, in high school, you might be in a car. You might be getting a car in college, too, to each his own, to how your parents do that. But I had a car my 11th grade year, so I was... Rolling, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, 11th grade year, you're getting ready for state tests. You can start taking the ACT. Well, some people start taking the ACT. I took my ACT in 11th grade. Um, it's just, it's kind of warming you up to become a senior. I mean, of course, because the next grade door is so. But, like I said, high school and college, like, it's just, the only thing that's different is the the class the classes you taking like they get the college is more advanced than high school of course you have more a shorter period of turning in work you just like high school they'll say okay well you got a paper due they might give it to you august 7th but you like they like you got a paper due um september 5th or whatever make sure you have it free and they'll remind you about it in high school but when you get in college you got a paper, um, that tell you on the 5th, you got a paper due, the paper due on the 7th. No cap! For real, I am 
for real. They will like, you just have to have stuff done in a quicker time period than, you know, normal time. So that's why college is more critical than high school. Because college make you want to drop out sometimes. Cause you'd be like, I got a paper due over here. I got a test over here. We might have a pop quiz in this class. And it's just Monday. Like you'll wake up on a Monday and you're not about to be having the greatest day, but that's when the day you had the most work. You got math, what's called? I think I forgot what's called, math lab or something like that for like algebra students or whatever. You have like math labs that's due on Wednesday. You just got them that Monday and it's like 12 assignments you gotta turn in. Like it's scary, but if you enjoy school, and you wanna see yourself do better, you're gonna, you know, put your mind to work, do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just got so off subject, sorry. But um, I'm in junior year. Like I said, junior year is just, it's just, it's teaching you about responsibilities. You know, teaching you. Well, I know Terry did before they turned bad. Terry taught us like learning stuff about college. You know, we just 11th grade, but we're also like about to be seniors in school, and that's when stuff start rolling real fast, like fast, like fast, fast. Okay, so in a junior year, you're taking like state tests and all this type of stuff, history state test, English test, like too freaking much. But after you take it, you start to feel like, wow, I'm really gonna graduate. I'm really gonna be out this thing. Like, <laughs> like then senior year, like the greatest year ever. In nation like because you just realize you're done like you are four years is done like first day of senior year you just come with all your friends you know all your friends all your classmates if it's if y'all close or if you just a cool person you cool with everybody in your class and that's just how I was like I never heard of anybody in my class not liking me so they always loved me I was just cool with all of them still to this day I'm still cool you know I associate with them sometimes but um, what else I was gonna say? Oh, but senior year, most people start taking the ACTs. Like, they start taking ACTs. Why I start so late? I don't know. Some start taking it in 11th grade where they give, they, they might give it for free or you might get a waiver or something like that. But senior year, after Christmas break, the ball just rolled. Like, it just comes so fast. So, so, so fast. You just get more excited. You just... People start realizing what college they're going to, you know, are they getting sports scholarships, academic scholarships, like different stuff. It's just a real big adrenaline rush. You just feel so excited because you realize you're just almost to the end. And all your hard work that you did, it like paid off. This is high school. This is college too, especially college. College graduation make you want to cry because you just be like, I'm done. I'm done. I am done. All those nights I cried. All them all nighters I did. And I'm done. I'm done. I can cross this tassel back walk this stage. You know what I'm saying? I'm done. I am done with school. And that's the best feeling to say, like, especially when you walk across the stage. I used to didn't think walking across the stage would be like as important to me. But then my mama started um, explaining to me, she was like, after all the hard work you did. You wouldn't want to walk across the stage and, you know, take your diploma and be excited. And I'm like, you right, girl. You right. Because I never thought about it like that. I was just like, why I got to walk across the stage? Like, I was like doing all that. Lazy. I'm lazy, y'all. I'm really lazy. And it's a shame. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. That's, and then after graduation, you just go off to college. And then that's when it kind of starts over. But it's just ten times harder. Depending on who you are. If you're good in school, college might be easy for you. Might be. But I'm tell you this now. And listen to me carefully. Look me in my eyes. High school smartness and college smartness is two separate things. Because you might graduate high school with a 4.0. Get this get to college. Might have a 2.8. You just never know. It's just how it works. Some people might be able to just keep keep the ball rolling, but some people get distracted and we get involved with people they're not supposed to get involved with or they just 
college is about learning yourself honestly like it's like high school is coming from a child to an adult like not adult because you ain't old but you got you know what i'm saying like you growing up like college where you find yourself you find out who really your friends are you find out stuff about you that you didn't know like you realize so much in college and that's why it's such a learning experience and that's why i just really want everybody to go to school like i understand it's college not for everybody i, I know this already i'm not gonna force the college on nobody but if you think about it, sometimes people always say you can make more money without a degree than you can with a degree and that's true but wouldn't you rather be going to work doing something that you enjoy doing instead of just make it living off chick to chick Think about it. Just, just think about it. I ain't gonna force nobody to go to school. If that ain't what you wanna do, to each his own. But me, oh, I'm gonna step, baby. I'm gonna go. I might be talking about it sometimes, but I'm, I'm going to school. Like, I can't live like that. I can't live broke. I can't be broke. It's just not me. I don't like it. I wanna be able to go do stuff without having to be like, well, I can't do that because I got. I can't do that because I have to go pay this and pay that. I won't be able to live straight, bro. I don't have to do no worries. Because if you think about it, all your hard work is going to pay off in the end. So, stay in school. Do what you got to do. Eat right. And be uh, Honestly. And I guess I could get some tips about how life is in college. Like, because the people you start college with. Half the time, they might not be the same people that you finish with, if that makes sense. Like, you might have a click of five starting freshman year. One person, two people might fall off. And then, junior year come, one person might switch up on you. Well, the end, might only end up having two people at the whole click. But it's a part of the process. You just, you can have friends, you can get close to people, but you got to realize people switch up on you. And they will do it in college. But do not let that distract you from your goal. People going to leave you. But a $100 bill going to stay the same. You know what I'm saying? It's never going to change on you. Never going to change. People going to wake up. Different feelings every day. People might act funny one day. Okay. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. But one thing that won't change is that dollar sign. You get that at the end of college. Like, of course you might have to pay student loans back. But I'm saying you making money enough to where you can just pay for your student loans, do all that type of stuff. I am getting all off topic, but yeah, I know I like giving advice and stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is the end of the video. I hope y'all didn't get lost. All those college, um, all the different parts of college kind of intertwine into one. So, you know, don't, hope that didn't confuse y'all at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped. Well, I hope this helped y'all out a lot with um, school or whatever. I know some of y'all might start school this week. Might start school next week because I start school on the 20th. The 20th of August, I start school at 8 o'clock in the morning. I have an 8 o'clock class. Isn't that great? No. <laughs> but <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm so sleepy. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. We are almost 2-1K, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I'm so freaking excited. I just can't, I just can't hide it. Let me see. 956. Yeah, I can't see that. But anyway, there's 956 subscribers, y'all. Like, I hope we get to 1,000 really soon. I'm so excited. Like, y'all just do not understand. Like, I love you guys so much. Uh, uh, I just love you guys so much. I want to cry. But I don't do that because I'm a thug. But anyway, I said this already, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you know when I post. You know, hit the bell so you know when I post because it's only up from here. We are lit right now. I just got wrist gang. Like, that's all I got for names because wrist gang. Oh, Riz Gang, Riz Gang, Riz Gang, Riz Gang, Riz Gang, oh, Riz Gang. <laughs> anyway, okay, Riz Gang. Mm -mm. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I 
I must be stopped. But I hope you guys have a great day and I love you guys and see you later. When I went broke, they wanna intimidate. Ran up some paper, they started hating. Chisel told me just keep going.